Oh, good evening. One employee tells me that they do plan to strike come October 1st if a decision is not reached between Johns Hopkins Hospital and the union. Now, non-union employees also reached out to us. They say they received an email from the hospital today saying they may need to fill in on those positions if a work stoppage happens. Now, negotiations between Johns Hopkins Hospital and United Healthcare Workers East have been going for months. The union represents about 1,800 of the hospital's 11,000 employees. They range from essential support services to patient care positions. That includes environmental services, patient transport, and surgical technicians, among others. The hospital confirms for us tonight their current contract expires in 10 days. Now, non-union employees are telling WBAL-TV they received this message from Human Resources today. It references those contract negotiations, saying if an agreement is not reached by September 30th, it appears staff may be pulled from other areas to cover. It says the hospital's plan is to have those employees fill in two to three shifts a week and staff will not be expected to exceed the hours in a typical work week. Now, some of the non-union employees who received the email are concerned. One who wishes to remain anonymous says, quote, the fact that they are more willing to pull us away from our responsibilities to our patients instead of giving these workers the value they deserve disgusts me. Well, tonight the hospital is responding. They say in part, quote, as is standard in any late stage contract negotiation, process, the hospital is making staffing preparations to ensure that there's no disruption to the patient experience in the event of a strike. And quote, we remain focused on providing the best possible care for our patients, as well as reaching a fair agreement for our employees. Those with the hospital also tell me they hope to reach that agreement before September 30th. Meantime, the union is working on getting us a statement. For now live at Johns Hopkins Hospital, I'm Tommy Clark, WBAL TV 11 News.